stop. Before you spend all that money on making a guitar sound like sh Watch this video. Welcome back to Destroying Amps. I am making this video after scrolling Instagram this morning. I saw that uh, Cooper FX have decided to um, stop making any new pedals, which is very sad because um, their pedals like the Generation Loss are modern classic pedals that have quite the following. Um, but it sounds like uh, they're moving on to do something that's going to make them a lot more happy, which I am all for. But of course, as predicted, already um, secondhand generation loss pedals are starting to get even more ridiculous in price. Um, and I can only see that getting worse. So I thought I'd make a quick little video showing you how you can achieve very similar sounds um, with a much cheaper option. Mm, hairs. Get rid of the hairs. Ugh. Not my hairs. All right, we'll do that again. So, the Zoom Multi Stomp is one of my favourite pedals simply because of the versatility and the bonkers um, bat it crazy stuff that you can do with it by mixing pedals around um, it is obviously a digital pedal and it sounds quite digital in a lot of ways but I really enjoy and actually like that um, I've, disclaimer, I've never actually played uh, Generation Loss, so you can switch off now if that's the sort of freak you are, but I think this will get close to the videos that I've heard. Um, it won't cover all the features that the Generation Loss version 2 has, um, or the Chase Bliss um, uh, collaborated uh, pedal, but it'll set, certainly get you in the ballpark of that sort of um noisy warbly um ruined tape sound um that the generation loss is famous for check it out so here we are with the zoom multi stomp um i will show you the the different patches that we have loaded up um this is the guitar without anything <laughs> So starting every patch with the line selector, that means you can turn everything on at once, uh, like this. And this is my uh, take on the Cooper FX generation loss. So <clears throat> let's have a look what we have loaded on here. 
first up we have the bit crusher followed by the lo-fi delay um, this is where mine differs to the um, patch that you find on reddit and um, some other places um, which is the bend echo um, we'll talk about that in a second and then I have the vibrato and a second vibrato um, so with the the bend echo um, if you have the time set um, to 46 depth to 6 uh, it kind of what it does is when there's a, a slightly louder input coming in it bends the the note um, uh, either up or down depending on how you have it set the reason I have that there is effectively to try and replicate the the random little blips um, and flutters that you have on the Cooper effects pedal uh, if I take that off uh, you'll hear um, it without that So yeah, you've obviously still got the warble from uh, the two vibratos uh, working. Um, you could take one of those off. And that still sounds you know warbly and stuff you don't quite have the um the random pattern that you would get uh, on the cooper effects pedal uh, if i couple just the vibrato one vibrate one vibrato with the bend echo Um, so we'll have a look at the sort of settings. Um, I've deviated a fair bit um, from what you'll find on Reddit and stuff like that, but um, not, you know, wildly, I suppose. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess. You, you just want to play with it till you find a sound that you like. You're probably not going to replicate another pedal exactly with the zoom, but you can get the flavour um, and then alter different parts of that so we'll have a bit of a play with the uh, bit crush um, and see what we can do there
so we've really mangled the sound there um, going on to the lo-fi delays where you can get some more um, you know sort of destroyed sound you want to set your time fairly low because it is a delay so if you turn it up uh, there'll be a delay and it's So, uh, your main sort of bits are your sample bits and the damp um, vinyl and the FLT. <laughs> um, you can mangle it quite a bit with that.
hope you enjoyed that and that you uh, are going to save yourself some cash uh, from you know sending money to these uh, sons of <laughs> who sell the pedals for ridiculous money um, <laughs> so yeah just get yourself a, a multi stomp um, and I'd there's lots more effects and pedals that, that can be replicated in the, the Zoom multi stomp, um, but I suppose until a builder stops building their original pedals, I'm not going to flash that all over YouTube. Um, the patches that I used today originally are on Reddit, um, and I've just tweaked them to uh, make it sound more pleasurable to my ears. So, thank you to the massive community of multi-stomp uh, patch makers. Um, you are awesome. And I, I love trying different stuff out. Um, 
If you like this video, please click subscribe and smash the bell off the wall and click like or, you know, thumbs down if you, you know, hate yourself. Uh, comment in the, in the, well, in the comment section really would probably be the best place. And if you really, really like the content that I am putting up, um, you can buy me a coffee just to sort of say a thanks because, you know, um, I'm not making any money off YouTube, that's for sure. See you next time on Destroying Amps.